beautiful people happy 2022 to everyone and now yeah. starting off the new years i am going to show you the books that got me into reading you know what i wouldn't be here without these books i wouldn't have those books at the top and i wouldn't be making these videos if it weren't for the books that i'm going to share to you guys and today before we roll our intro i will be giving you a small hint it is a book that is coming from kira cass Hello, beautiful people! Rise and shine in a world that is gleeful. <laughs> yes, welcome back to. Okay, guys, take it from the top. Louder! A one, two. Sachi Cyberi Yuchu Channel! What's Yuchu Chu? Oh my gosh, this bracelet. So it is quite obvious now, if you hear the name Kira Kaz, there is no other book that is coming from her that is really popular way before. Well, I'm actually not sure if it is still popular, but it really has a special place in my heart. And it is no other than the Selection Series. So I remember a year ago, I was just digging through my room and searching for some things that I can do since it was winter break and I was really bored at that time. And then I just saw these three books lying there on my bookshelf, haven't read yet, full of dust. And yeah, just a fun fact, before I actually bought this way back when I was 13 years old, um, during that time, I am interested in reading dork diaries and I want to read more and then there I bought these three books and then quite a while I tried reading the first one which is the selection and I did not enjoy it at that time since I was still 13 and I am not really a fan of books that are very wordy you know I appreciate the book at that time when I was 13 I appreciate books that have illustrations in it but this book is just plain words so I did not enjoy it at the time fast forward to the year 2020 where I picked up these books and <laughs> oh my god is that a, is that a cat is that a what <laughs> is that a cat is that a what <laughs> what sound is that what sound am I making right now and fast forward you guys after reading this book as you can see it gave me a book channel it gave me a wide collection of books and Thank you, Kira Kaz. Because of you, I wouldn't have everything that I have today. And you deserve a praise. So the story starts with a girl named America Singer. And no matter how ridiculous and silly her name is, and I don't even know why Kira Kaz chose that name. I mean, like, would I give a character name after a country? Like, hello, Philippines. My name is Philippines. My name is Japan. My name is Korea. It's absurd. Well, not unless if you're going to give it as a codename, like Money Highs, but um, a name of a book character? Really? <laughs> and I, I just don't know what is going with Kira Cass's mind, but yeah, we have this character named America Singer, and she lives in this country wherein there is a caste system that is being implemented. So caste system, it, this will give us a dystopian vibe to the story, wherein in this country they are being categorized by their classes we have the higher ranking class we have the lower class and then we have the low 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 oh my god is, is that a throwback is that a throwback and then we have the lowest cast and also if you're familiar with the bachelors well i haven't uh watched the bachelors yet but i do have a little idea about it so if you watch the bachelors and you enjoy it I would feel like you will also enjoy this book because it is packed with bachelors packed with dystopian packed with a love triangle so I'm already warning you with that point and if you're already interested read this girl up so okay <laughs> let's eliminate all of the distractions and let's focus on the story so yes i've mentioned to you guys we were following america singer where in in her country she has um this caste systems and she belongs in one of the lower 
ranks in that system and then with that there's this given opportunity to everyone in the country to participate in a contest it's like a lottery for some people where in like they will be they will be choosing 35 participants and this contest is no ordinary wherein if you won you will be receiving a cash prize as a gift no it's not that you will be winning two things the heart of the prince and also the crown of the country so it's really <laughs> it's out of this world and i really hoped you know what i really hope that this thing this storyline exists in reality because why not <laughs> it's, it's fun to fantasize ourselves as royals so so yes there is this kind of competition that is going on where in fact this is the tradition because in every year in this country whenever they produce an heir to the throne they will be organizing this kind of contest and it happens to be that prince maxon was born and right now he is close into becoming a king and he is finding he is finding his true love so here we have america singer wherein she has a lot of things in her mind like should i really enter this contest would this give me really uh would this give me benefits or should i not waste my time and just live my life as is and after that part, I wouldn't be spoiling you what will happen next. So there, as you can see here, 35 girls, one crown, the competition of a lifetime. What makes this interesting is that you are going to see how America Singer's um, journey went as a contestant in the, in the competition. Well, well, well. While reading this box, some people might find uh, um, something annoying about America Singer's character. Because if you know those lines that I'm not like other girls, you know, like, like that thing, like no, um, she be eating salads, but I be eating burgers. Like I'm not that kind of girl. So there's that huge vibe in this book, wherein I feel like most people are John out with, or they they hated that aspect. Like, She's trying to be different in this competition, but I'm, I was just curious whether if she would end up with Prince Maxon or from her former lover, which is Aspen. And yes, I have to tell you guys, um, this is not a spoiler. It's it's really obvious. This is going to be a love triangle between America singer Aspen and Prince Maxon. So who will America singer choose? Would it be the prince? Or would it be her first love? Before anything, you guys, I just want to say thank you for 306 subscribers. Oh my gosh, 2021 really went by fast. And right now, I'm just really grateful. Thank you, guys. So if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now. Hey, happy 300 subscribers. Thank you, guys, for those who subscribe. Thank you. After the selection, we have the second book, which is Elite. And here, the competition is being reduced. From 35 girls, only 6 remain. Would America Singer be part of those 6 contestants or not? I feel like it's too much. Uh, if it reduced from 30 to 15, that would be reasonable. But down to 6? It just happened so fast and with that reduction you guys you could tell that this book is really fast-paced for me my experience in reading this book, it is really fast-paced and I, I just could not put the book down. It's the same experience as what I'm getting with Colleen Hoover's book, so there's a big bomb to that and I love that kind of experience. So there! Elite is the second part of the book wherein all of the things became a lot more challenging and most especially to the competition and all of the missions that they are going to take. So I really saved my chapters for this book because I don't want the story to end. So the one is the last book in the series wherein there are a lot of romance happening and there are also a lot of challenges not just with the relationship but also with friendship. So 
So 35 girls enter the selection and only one can win. So from 35, we're down to six and then we're down to only one. Would America Singer be the one or would it be another girl? Let us see. Okay, so I forgot to tell you guys that the selection series consists of five books, not only three. I mean like there is an extension to this series. Because of its popular demand, it extended up to two books. So the first three, which is our main three books, we have The Selection, The Elite, and The One. And then the extended books would be The Air and The Crown. So basically, I am going to split this video. So this is the first part, talking about these three, which we are done now. And then the second part will be The Air and The Crown, which is the extended version of this book. But um, the topic is not going to be the love story of between our main characters for the selection but rather what they look like after 20 years and also you guys I forgot to mention the reason why I made this video the reason why I made this review it is because the selection series is going to be a Netflix show soon they just announced that um, a year ago and right now I'm just waiting and waiting and waiting until they release the trailer so yes props to that and thank you guys for watching I hope that you have enjoyed today's video do not forget to like and subscribe and most importantly do not forget that I'll be having a part two with the selection series, but it is going to be the version of the air and the crown. So thank you guys and see you on the next part. Ready? Get set and start reading. Bye!